Alright, this video I'm going to teach you how to differentiate sine, cos, tangent, exponent, and ln. Alright, so basically this video is not for SPM students. It, uh, it's mainly for IGCSE IGCC student or your STPM or L level student. Yeah, any pre U student, you, you will learn about how to differentiate trigonometry and exponent and log. Alright, so over here, I will just use a, a very short video to cover here because actually, quite some or uh, quite a number of students actually asked me to explain about this part. And I believe YouTube do have a lot of video like this, but I just make a quick one to teach you some technique here. Yeah, because it's not too difficult, I would say it's quite easy. But the only difficult part on differentiate three goal is you need to memorize something. So example, you need to memorize if you differentiate sine x, you will get cos x. And same idea, if you differentiate cos x, you will get negative sine x. And you differentiate tangent x, you will get second square x. Right, so basically these three things you have to sort of remember, then, then only you can do the further one. So normally how I remember is, I only remember the first one and the last one. Differentiate sign, I get cos. Then differentiate cos, I will remember that like I will actually get back the sign, but with the negative. So yeah, you need to find a way to remember it. And tangent is the only one you get the second with a square. Because sine and cos you see here doesn't have any square. Tangent is the only one have a square here. Alright, so you basically just remember three of this. Alright, then I will teach you uh, a little bit further. So example, today if I differentiate, um, give some numbers, 3 sine 2x. Okay, what will I get from here is, okay, when you differentiate 3 sine 2x, right? Okay, we know differentiate sine will get cos. 2x over here is basically is the angle. So no matter how you differentiate or integrate, the angle will never change. So you, you need to forget about the method you learned about minus one thing because in trigo, exponent and log, we never do the minus one thing. All right, so over here, so 2x will remain. So if you differentiate sine 2x, basically you will get back cos 2x because sine will give you cos, right? If sine 2x, you will get cos 2x. But because this is 2x, right? So you need to do one more step is you need to differentiate the ang angle which is 2x. You imagine you differentiate the 2x, what do you get? You differentiate the 2x, you get 2, right? So 2, you need to multiply with 3. So normally, I will write like this, 3 cos 2x. But because I differentiate the 2x over here, I will get a 2, right? So I multiply the 2 here. So I will get 6 cos 2x. Okay, get the idea? Okay, so come, I give you one more example. Um, maybe we will have something like Okay, differentiates maybe tangent uh, 3x minus pi over 6, example. Okay, if you differentiate something like this, we know if you di differentiate tangent, we will we'll get second square. So this is the angle. Angle, you will basically just copy. So if I differentiate tangent 3x minus pi, I will get second square bracket 3x minus pi because the angle will remain the same and divided by 6 but you need to differentiate the angle one more time isn't it if you differentiate 3x minus pi what will you get because it's dx right so you will get another 3 here then 3 and 6 you multiply you simplify you will get the whole thing is over 2 All right so just remember this three term and when you differentiate that time you the angle remainder will remain the same no matter what angle it is, but you need to differentiate the angle one more time and multiply, multiply the whole thing here. Normally, I will write at the back here. But I want to teach you something further a bit. What if we differentiate something like um, something like maybe 3 sine cube x, cube 2x. Okay, we make it very interesting. Okay, when you see trigo have the power in your differentiate, you, the first thing you need to do is you need to change something over here first. 
So I will change this one into differentiate. This one will be 3. I will do something like this one will be sine 2x power of 3. Right. If you have something like this, it's slightly different with what you do here. Because the power 3 here, you need to do back the composite function method with you, which you already learned in the simple differentiation. So what I will do is, I will do the minus 1 thing over here, only for the power 3 here. So the 3, I will move to the front, multiply with this 3, and then the 3 here, I will minus 1. So 3 times 3, I will get 9. And then I will, whatever inside the bracket, I will just copy. 3 minus 1, I get power 2. Alright, then what I do next is, I will differentiate whatever inside the bracket right at the back here. Differentiate sine 2x, what will we get? We will get 2 cos 2x, right? Basically, we are getting cos 2x, but because this is 2x, we differentiate the angle again, we multiply 2 here. So 2 and cos 2x, you can multiply with 9. So your final answer should be 18 sine square 2x, that multiply cos 2x. Alright, this kind of example will be slightly more complicated than the usual. So whenever you see sine square, cos square, or tangent square, or power more, more than 2, what you need to do is you have to understand sine cube 2x is equal to sine 2x cube. So if you can understand this, then you need to do the minus 1 thingy over here. By moving 3 to the front, you minus 1. Then you get a 2 here. Then whatever inside the bracket, you copy first. Then the next step only, you differentiate whatever inside your bracket. Then you will get this thing, then you simplify them. Alright, this is everything about differentiate sine, cos and tangent. Definitely, they can join together with the product rule. They can join together with the question rule. Just depend how far they want to go for the question. So, if example, uh, if let's say they want to do the product rule. Um, okay, let me just give, get more space here. To explain to you. Okay, so example, if they want to join the product rule, you have something like this. Uh, differentiate something like maybe maybe x cos x cos 2x example or x square cos 2x. Then you should know this is product rule. So product rule tell you you copy the first one, you differentiate this one will give you two sine two. I mean negative two sine two x. Because cos gives you negative sign, doesn't it? And then plus, copy cos 2x, differentiate x squared, you get 2x here. Then you basically simplify it. This is product rule. Alright, so basically this is everything about sine cos tangent. And exponent actually is not too bad also. Exponent, this is what happens. If I want to differentiate ex, I will get back ex. Yeah. So basically, how to differentiate exponent is like this. Okay, exponent, whatever power you have, you have to copy the exactly the same power here. But what you need to do is, you differentiate the power. Imagine if you differentiate x, what will you get? You differentiate x, you get 1, right? Multiply at the front here. So this is the reason why you get back the ex, because 1, one multiply ex, you get back ex. So if I want to make it uh, more interesting, I can say uh, you differentiate e3x then I will copy the e3x because the whole thing I will just copy but I differentiate the 3x will give me 3 so I will get 3e3x because differentiate 3x will give you 3 isn't it so example if I differentiate ex square this is x square and this is not 2x or x2 alright so so what I will do is I will get back the ex square but I differentiate x square will give me 2x, I will write at the front here. So same idea is example, if I differentiate something like e sin x. You differentiate e sin x, the e sin x you will copy, but you will differentiate sin x will give you cos x. So I write the cos x at the front here. So you will get cos x e sin x. Okay, this is how we differentiate the e. Basically, yeah, just like this, the e you can join together with the x also to become product rule and quotient rule. So that one I will not cover. The last part I want to cover is the ln, ln. Alright, because a lot of students might find the ln a bit challenging. But actually, I would say ln is not 
than bad also. Yeah, if you understand, actually, it's quite simple as well. Yeah, so yeah, let me use the space here. All right, for ln x, if you differentiate ln x, what will you get here? You just imagine when you see ln here, you will get 1 over x. And then you, you need to differentiate the x right on the top. You differentiate x will give you what? Will give you 1, isn't it? 1, you multiply the 1, you get 1 over x. So therefore, if I differentiate uh, something like ln 5x, so I will get, see the ln, run 1 over the whole thing here, 5x. And then you differentiate 5x, it will give you 5. Then right at the top, 5 and 5 simplified, you still get back 1 over x. Get the idea? Okay, so let's say I differentiate maybe ln 2x plus 1. Right, so what I will get is I will get 1 over 2x plus 1. But when I differentiate 2x plus 1 over here, I will get 2, right? I write the 2 on the top. So this one actually gives you 2 over 2x plus 1. Alright, so if I differentiate, uh, maybe ln sin x. Alright, so if ln sin x ln, I will write 1 over sin x. So I write 1 over sin x. And I, if I differentiate sin x, it will give me cos x. I will write on the top, cos x here. Then cos x over sin x, I will get cotangent x. Alright, so ln is basically just like this. You just like ln whatever thing on your... Uh, on your right hand side here, you just write 1 over the whole thing here and make sure you differentiate this one correctly and write on the top here then you should be able to differentiate the ln easily right, if you have any more questions about this kind of differentiation yeah, please post a comment below if not, I will see you in the next video bye